overseas move, so we've put a lot of thought and research into how to pack our stuff. And other people's blogs and videos have been really helpful, so here's what we did. The military pays for long-term storage, so we are putting a few things in long-term storage. We think we should be able to get a similar size house. Our house right now is like 1,500 some square feet. So we're not really putting any furniture in storage. But the biggest difference is there doesn't seem to be any garages or outdoor sheds. So a lot of things that we normally have in a garage or even an attic we're putting in storage. Mostly all of Josh's woodworking stuff. So here's the stuff that we are putting in long-term storage. Okay, I shut the garage door, so hopefully it's not so loud. The airplane started flying and people are mowing grass. It was just too much. Okay, so long-term storage. We've got our kids' play set. They're gonna be eight and 10 when we come back. We don't know if they'll still want it. We decide to keep it just in case. Um, <laughs> dog grooming table, because hopefully we will get another one of those when we come back. This is the only piece of furniture we're leaving because it's just kind of something extra that we might not have space for. Um, some of this is Josh's winter clothes that he pretty much hasn't worn since we left Ohio 10 years ago. But who knows, maybe someday he'll need winter clothes again. Um, some extra storage bins. Um, a lot of outdoor working stuff that I guess he feels like we're not gonna use. I don't know, he made a lot of these decisions. Um, our big chest freezer because we will no longer be shopping at Sam's Club. His kayak. So I think he would use his kayak. He just doesn't know if he would have a convenient place to keep it. So he decided to store it instead of bring it. Um, and then, yeah, I think the most rest of this is tools, workbench, table saw, all that kind of stuff. And then also our washer and dryer and our outdoor toy box. You can't have really anything that stays outdoors there because there are typhoons. And then our refrigerator because our house in Texas that we rented did not have a refrigerator, so now we own one. Today they are picking up unaccompanied baggage, so I'm gonna show you what we put in there. Unaccompanied baggage is a little over a thousand pounds of stuff that they are going to send by airplane instead of by boat, so it should get to us in 30 days. This was the thing that we had to put the most thought into because we had to think about stuff that we needed to live in our house after they picked up the bulk of our household goods, and we had to think about what we didn't want to need have to live without for two to four months. All right, so we have, oh, first we have Josh's bike. Um, we're gonna see if we can live with one car in Japan. We'll see how that goes, but he definitely wants to have his bike to ride to work, especially if we live on base. We have sleeping bags and pillows that we've been using for the past week in our house since they picked up our beds. Um, we have just a couple favorite toys. So for my girls, that was their Our Generation dolls, Magnetiles, and Barbies. And we kept a basketball because Kylie's in basketball camp this week in case she wanted to practice. Um, one blog suggested keeping a hamper and a laundry basket, and I thought that was a great idea. We did not keep a lot of kitchen stuff since we're planning on being able to borrow that from the base. We borrowed dishes and pots and pans from our base here in Texas, and then we should be able to borrow all that kind of stuff from our base in Japan. But we did keep our Keurig, um, lunch boxes, and cooler packs, because we'll be starting our homeschool co-op before we get most of our stuff, um, and some Tupperware, because um, we're not sure if that's something we'll be able to borrow. Um, I also kept my apron, and I'm already regretting that I did not keep my oven mitts, so that might be something to think about. Um, I get 200 pounds of professional gear as a spouse because I was working as a music teacher. So all of my piano music and teaching aids count for that and my keyboard. We also have all of our homeschool stuff because I want to be able to start that as soon as possible. This is our pool bag. Um, what else? Some suitcases that we didn't end up needing to use on the plane, so they're going in unaccompanied baggage. 
um, and some art supplies that we use in homeschooling and just for fun because my girls love crafts. Um, also some other electronics. Okay, in here we have my teaching aids, ukulele, dehumidifier. From everything we read about Okinawa, this is a must and it's something that we're going to want right away. We bought one used here in the States that we're sending in unaccompanied baggage. We have some basic tools. This is Josh's stuff from his office at work that he forgot to get before they came and picked up our household goods. The trophies would not normally be like high priority items. Um, some extra shoes. I've got a bunch of shoes in here too. Hangers. Someone suggested that on the blog. I thought that was such a smart idea. So we've got a bunch of empty hangers and then jackets. I don't think Okinawa is going to change seasons before we get our household goods, but we have just a few jackets and long pants in case. Um, what else do I have in here? This is um, a few more summer clothes. And then office supplies. We've got a printer, um, just like tape, pencil, scissors, stuff like that. Curling irons. I love my hair products. I also um, got some boxes to organize all of our toiletries so we don't have to be living on a Ziploc bags for as long. This is my keyboard, Josh's guitar, um, a broom, mop, and an ironing board. I'm not sure if those are things that we maybe would have been able to borrow from the base, but we think we had the weight, so we brought them just in case. And then we have our suitcases. We each get two 70 pound suitcases, and I'm not sure that we're even gonna need that many. In our suitcases, we packed almost all of our summer clothes. So for us, that's about maybe two weeks worth. I only packed basic shoes, and I put most of the rest of our shoes in unaccompanied baggage. Um, and then there's a lot of toiletries because they will not pack that stuff and I buy a lot of my hair products and things from Amazon in bulk so I had all these stockpiles of dry shampoo and hairspray and things they won't pack so I hope it won't cause problems in our suitcases apparently TSA and customs don't like it when you bring a suitcase full of hairspray so we divided it up between all the suitcases and hopefully it'll be okay and I won't lose all my products um, what else do we put in suitcases I brought the girls life jackets and goggles so we can go swimming or to the beach right away and also our beach towels um, I'm planning on only bringing one carry-on. We'll all have backpacks on the airplane and then we'll have a carry-on with a change of clothes for everyone and our laptops in it. What else? Um, the girls, um, I'm bringing coloring books and they each have like a special blanket and then their beanie boos on the plane because those are nice light toys, the beanie boos to bring. Um, and I think that's it that we packed in the suitcases. We're counting on the TLFs and hotels to have everything else we need. So I will update you all in about a month when we get our unaccompanied baggage and let you know if I had any regrets, if there was something I really wished I packed or something we really didn't end up needing.